Hi, I'm Addie Kidd with Art Jewelry Magazine. I'm going to show you how to make one version of an S-hook clasp with hammered ends. I'm going to make another S-hook clasp here in 14 gauge silver. Before I did 18 gauge and I made the loops at the end. For 14, you can really hammer out the ends and get a different look. So I've taken a short segment of 14 gauge sterling silver wire. I'm going to hold just the end on my steel bench block and using my chasing hammer, I'm going to flatten just the end. I'm going to put more pressure in my hammer blows at the very tip and gently taper off as I'm hitting it so that it get a nice gradual flare to the end. I'm going to flip it over. You see all your hammer marks are on this side, so if you flip it over, it kind of smooths out the hammer marks. If I'm not getting quite enough flare, I can use the rounded portion of my chasing hammer. You can use a ball peen hammer for this too. And then I'm going to hit both sides again with this to smooth out the hammer marks. And I'll do the same on the other end. And I want the flat ends to both be parallel to each other. So I'm going to hold the flat end in my hand and make another one on the other end. You can see all those hammer marks are in there, so I'm going to smooth those out with the flat plane. So now I have a piece of wire that's flared at either end. And I'm going to take that and use my round nose pliers to grip part of it with the flat plane this way, parallel to the pliers. Push that around into a hook and do the same in the opposite way on the other side. It's a little hard to push this because of the uh, 14, er, 14 gauge. So now I have this very unattractive hook. To, to get the hook ends, I'm going to grab this with the largest part of my round nose pliers and just, just pull out slightly. Kind of give it a nice little flare. I don't know if you can see that. And the same on the other side. This will help as you're using the clasp to catch things. It'll, it'll kind of guide the jump ring or whatever you have in there. Put the large part of your round nose pliers in the hook again. Push this end down until it meets. And do the same on the other side. You can stop at this point if you'd like, or you can hammer the edges just like in the other. So I'm just going to hammer a little bit here at the, um, at the top of the loop. Flip it over and do the same on the other side. And again with the flat nose pliers, I'm going to pinch these closed. It's kind of tricky here. Grab that at the end. You might have to use your round nose to get in there. You want it nice and work hardened just like that. So adjust with your fingers, and that's another type of S-hook clasp. From all the hammering, your ends might be just a little bit rough. Your fingers will tell you this probably better than your eyes would. So just feel that, that flared end, and if it's a little bit sharp, use a, uh, a, a needle file. And just gently round those, those edges so they won't catch on anything. You want to hit both of these here. <laughs> 